Hey everyone, Happy New Year. I uh, hope your 2020 is going really well so far and welcome any new viewers and welcome back you regular viewers to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review of and other stories makeup. So I'm going to be reviewing the cream foundation from and other stories and the and other stories concealer. So here in the UK, um, we've I've definitely noticed we've got a lot more and other stories stores popping up and I bought clothes from them, but I wanted to try some of their makeup and see how their makeup performs. So if you want to see my review of the and other stories foundation and concealer, just keep on watching and do subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and I'll get started. So first of all, with the foundation, this was 23 pounds and I got the shade Trace Sand. Um, you get 26 mils. What does it say? It says, with a graceful touch of French oak and linen tree certified French or uh, origin, this foundation provides flawless medium coverage um, that feels weightless, a second skin. It also blends easily, brightens complexion and has a velvet finish, creating a natural um, look. So all signs very good. Love the, the packaging of everything from And Other Stories. They always do really nice products. So excited to try the foundation. Okay, I'm sort of ripping this open. Got a little sticker. Okay, I think I'm gonna break a nail actually doing this. <laughs> um, so let's get it out. So that's what the packaging looks like. Very nice uh, glass uh, container. There was quite limited shade range in the store for this. I think there was maybe like five or six shades. There wasn't like loads of shades. Um, it's really nice. Um, I think this was the second palest that was available in store. Um, so yeah, and let's open up the concealer as well, just as we'll have both opened. So I went for shade Bon Fon in the concealer. And I think this was the second dark, uh, second lighter shade and it's uh, 15 pounds. I think there was eight shades of the um, concealer from memory. Sorry guys, just um, some, I think ambulance going past there in the background. Um, with the packaging, again, really lovely black sleek. This is a uh, plastic and you get, how many mils in this? You get four mils and what does it say about the concealer with chicory and plum seeds velvet concealer provides medium to high coverage used with um, applicator or a concealer brush so excited to try this so as you regulars know i normally do one side primed one side not primed and one side with a brush and one side with a sponge for blending the foundation so we will just pop the hair back. I'm gonna go in with my Becca backlit primer on this side as we'll try it with the prime side and then we'll do it on prime side. And you guys know I love this primer and pretty much use it all the time in all my reviews. It just gives a nice glow to the skin and also just gives a bit of tackiness, um, which you can see the difference on the prime side. So now we will go in with foundation see oh it's got a nice little pump which I like so we're just gonna pump out some onto the back oh it's quite liquidy actually um, there it's quite it feels quite runny um, which is fine so I did about two pumps there and I'm just gonna pop because it's quite runny straight on with my fingers and then we'll blend out this side So on this side, I'm going to go in with a Morphe M439 brush um, to blend this side out. This color has quite a nice yellow undertone, which I do like um, in foundations. And also guys, how was your new year and Christmas season? Leave me a comment below what you guys, if you've got any nice gifts, what you got up to. Um, it's always great to hear from you. I got quite a lot of makeup and I yeah, mainly makeup because most people who know me know I love sort of makeup products. Um, so this is actually, I don't know if I put too much on there, but it's giving pretty good coverage and it's blending out very easily. It feels like it's got quite a lot of a luminosity, like 
I've got oily combo skin, so like oily T-zone, normal everywhere else. This is looking pretty, pretty glowy on this side that I had the back backlight primer. It's not a too bad color match. Um, it is quite yellow undertone, but like I said in the store, there wasn't like lots of different shades to pick from. So I had to work with what was available. Yeah, that is super, 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 super glowy with the primer side. So we will do the other side, which has no primer. And I've got a feeling I'm gonna prefer the non-prime side because this is very, very glowy. So um, with the on-prime side, I'm just gonna do another, sort of that was like two pumps. Um, it is very liquidy. Um, so it spreads pretty easy on the face. Um, so just pop in that on the face. So then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe uh, blending sponge um, and blend out this side. Does It does blend really very easily because it is so liquidy. It kind of like actually reminds me of a more lightweight version of Josie Moran uh, Argan Oil Foundation at this stage actually. But I think it's, which I actually really love. It's one of my all time favorite foundations and it is very glowy, but then when you set it down, it looks really nice. Um, so guys, that is the blended side with the Beauty Blender or slash Morphe blending sponge. And then this is the side with the brush. The brush side, because it's got the illuminating primer, I think it's too much. It's like oh, too glowy of primer to put on a glowy style foundation. So I'm preferring the side which isn't primed. And I think the coverage level is quite similar with the sponge and the foundation brush, brush maybe a little bit more coverage, but I think I'm preferring it without um, the primer because it just looks nicer and not so, so super glowy. If you've got dry skin, maybe you'd prefer the super, super glowy side, but for the combo normal skin type girls or guys, I think you'd prefer without a glowy primer. Um, but yeah, it's looking very natural on the skin. It's looking, yeah, it's looking pretty good at this stage. Um, I am now going to go on to the concealer and give that a go. Um, so this has a nice little applicator like most concealers have. I'm going to pop this on my under eye that is quite, quite pale this shade. Um, so we'll see how this blends out. The applicator is very soft on this, which is nice. It feels very soft on the under eye. Okay, we'll start with uh, under eye and then I'll put my concealer where I normally put it um, on the rest of my face uh, to sort of highlight, but this is my main problem area is under eyes um, for dark circles. Um, so just going in with that same beauty sponge, I normally blend out with a sponge for my under eye. We will see how this looks. Okay, that's blended out really nice and very sort of natural looking concealer, like definitely brightens and sort of lifts the under eye area, which is good. I did go for this shade that had a little bit more peach undertone because the other PLS one had a more like gray undertone, which I don't like gray on my under eye um, because it sort of doesn't help with my dark circles, whereas the slight sort of peach undertone brightens a little bit more, I find, because of my dark circles. Okay, so yeah, that's looking really quite nice and pretty natural. Like it's nothing crazy heavy, like um, Tarte Shape Tape or actually the e.l.f. concealer's really full coverage. This kind of reminds me more of a Radiant Creamy concealer from NARS, like that level of coverage. Um, just pop it down the center of my nose, a little bit on the chin and forehead to brighten um, for contour. Um, but I do really like it actually. It's It feels nice on the skin, this. Um, but yeah, it's not like crazy super full coverage. It's definitely more a medium coverage, which I, I don't mind actually. Like it's still brightening, which is what, what I want. Um, and it's looking nice, like on the wrinkles on the under eyes, it's not looking like it's seeping in to them at this stage. And yeah, the under eye concealer is not as glowy, like as oily and dewy. It's definitely more of a semi sort of velvety satiny finish, uh, which I do like as well, because then 
it's not going to slip around too much on the under eye. Um, at this stage, I'm, I'm actually really, I keep looking in the mirror because I'm like, it does look really nice with the skin and it kind of does look like a second skin at this stage. I feel like it's quite a useful foundation. It's not too heavy. Um, so what I'm going to do is go away and finish the rest of my makeup, come back and give you my final thoughts. But at this stage, I am enjoying both products. Um, so I'll finish the rest of my makeup, come back and show you the completed foundation thoughts and concealer thoughts. So guys, uh, this is the concealer and foundation with the rest of my makeup on and I really, really like how it looks now. I feel like I still prefer the side that didn't have the backlit glowy primer and I definitely prefer the sponge application side, I think. Um, I feel like the brush would be nice maybe if you didn't have the glowy primer. It's not like too glowy, like when I put the powder on, it's sort of neutralized, but I just feel like I do prefer the side without the glowy primer and the sponge. I think it just sits nicer on the skin and this side just feels like still a little bit more glowy and I feel like it won't wear as well with the glowy primer because it's such a glowy foundation. So what am I giving the foundation? I think for 23 pounds, it's like quite pricey for, it's like not a drugstore price at all. So I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I think basically because the price, I think, it should be maybe more, like it's maybe more comparable to like a 15 pound foundation rather than a 23 pound foundation. But I do really like it. I think if you want a lightweight sort of medium coverage foundation, I think it's good for people with dry skin, definitely. I think it would be really, really, really good for dry skin people and actually dry skin people might give it a five out of five. And then for more oily combination skin, um, I think it's probably better for normal to combo and I think if you had oily skin, I don't know if it'd be really for you um, I think it might be too glowy um, So that's why I'm giving it a four out of five um, The concealer, I really really like the concealer. I'm Again giving it a four out of five. Basically, I'm giving it a four because it is more of a medium coverage not a super super full coverage very comparable with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's gives that type of coverage and it's only 15 pounds, so it is cheaper than the NARS. Um, so yeah, I feel like this feels probably more high-end than the foundation. So I might give this one a, f yeah, I'm sticking with my four out of five, but I think this one is it feels a little bit more high-end than the foundation. Um, I think it can do well for like more older skin as well because it is quite hydrating, but with dries down quite satin. So it looks quite good on your wrinkles, which I like personally, because I do have some fine lines. So yeah, all in all, I think both products are actually really nice products and I definitely will be using these and wearing these and I think they're really nice for an everyday, you're going to work look, um, nothing too crazy, you don't want anything too heavy, then I think these are really great products. So yeah, really happy I picked them up and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.